Hey guys, uh, here we are with uh, the long-awaited demo of Resident Evil Village. Um, it's now available publicly on Steam for everyone to play. Uh, so we can play from today up until May 7th, I believe. Uh, somewhere around May 6th or May 7th until the game's actual, like the full release uh, of the game. So we can play the demo until then. However, the condition being is that we can only play the demo for one hour only. So as you can see here, there's a timer on the top right corner of this game screen. Um, so uh, we get to play two separate levels of this game. First one is the village demo, and the second one is the castle demo. Uh, I'm guessing that uh, one hour will be enough to cover both of these uh, demos at once before the timer runs out. Um, I heard that the levels themselves are short, so uh, I don't think it should be uh, an issue to go through them before the time runs out. Um, so the purpose of this uh, video here is to just show you and to, of course, play the game myself and show you guys uh, how the game is in general compared to uh, Resident Evil 7 because Resident Evil Village is also in first person view unlike the other previous games in the series which were in third person but Resident Evil 7 as well as Resident Evil Village are both in first person, with, uh, which also shares similar mechanics from uh, Resident Evil 7. So we'll find out how, you know, how it compares. Also, uh, how it stands out, like uh, this, uh, this new game, how it stands out on its own versus the predecessors. Um, I heard a lot of good things so far, so I'm going to be excited to play that. And also, uh, as I'm playing it, I'll be giving you my first impression slash review it's not a full game review it's just a review of the demo or let's just say first impression of what i think about the game so far right because i already have a high expectation of this game and resident evil games in general because you know it's one of my favorite series uh as far as horror game goes survival horror and you know horror games in general all right so let's uh, see how it goes uh, of course, uh, this is also going to be a fresh run, uh, uh, like a blind run of the game. I haven't played the demo beforehand, so I'll be experiencing the game fresh. Uh, and hopefully, you know, I'm going to find some interesting things as well as scary things uh, in general. All right, let's get started. I'm going to start with the village demo first. Then after I'm finished with that, I'm going to go with the castle. All right. Let's get started. Um, because it's a timer, it's running on a timer, I'm gonna go with the standard difficulty for now. Uh, maybe in the full game, I will go to, I'll go with hardcore difficulty. I'm not sure yet. Uh, we'll see. All right. The demo is limited to 60 minutes of gameplay. This demo can only be played online and there is no save load function with this demo. Okay, cool. I don't like the fact that they're having this timer for a demo. They should have just give, given us a demo as it is and let us play in peace without having to rush us with this 60 minute timer, you know? All right, so Ethan's daughter, Rose, has been kidnapped. Oh no, again, uh, first it was Ethan's uh, wife, now her daughter. He now finds himself in a strange village uh, after wandering for a while, he comes across an old woman. So I'm guessing this is not the beginning of the game, like like not the very beginning, but somewhere in the beginning. I I mean, obviously they don't want to spoil us of uh, late game stuff. So early game content uh, for the demo, I'm believing. All right. In life and in death, we give glory. Uh, hello. You shouldn't be out here. It's not safe. What the hell? 
Hey, can you hear me? Uh, it's you. The child's father. Child? Hey, wait. Do you mean Rose? Is she here? <laughs> Rose! Rose, yes. She is in great danger. Since Mother Miranda brought her to the village, we have fallen into darkness. What are you talking about? The monsters? The castle bell heralds danger. They're coming! <laughs> no. Wait. Where's Rose? Who's Mother Miranda? The bell tolls for us all. They're coming again! <laughs> Is here? <laughs> okay then. <laughs> Already we are uh, off to a great start. Uh, the voice acting is great, but also all the craziness of Resident Evil. Uh, we're seeing it firsthand. Uh, uh, so uh, this lady here is telling us something about they're coming again, coming again. The bell tolls. And uh, Rose is somewhere in the castle or something like that. Mother Miranda, something. All right. So right off the bat, the visuals of this game is already uh, way better than uh, Resident Evil 7. More detail, uh, more assets, like more uh, you know environmental details, more things happening on screen at once. Also, the optimization of the game is really great. Uh, I maxed out all of the settings except for the ray tracing settings. Uh, so the game's running uh, pretty good so far. Hmm. All right, so I'm going to be looking around the place, see what I can find. I don't have any weapon with me, do I? Oh, I do. Okay, I have uh, some handgun ammo and as well as a handgun, as, an, and as well as a knife. Nice, nice. Can I open? Okay, I can. Should I be even entering this room? Let's see then. Um, okay. Oh, cam fluid, nice. Material, view materials that can be crafted, of course. Um, so I have the knife, a well-used knife with a large blade. We have a lemai, a semi, uh, a small semi-automatic pistol. Uh, some handgun ammo, a first aid kit, I mean, a med. Alright, I have some crafting here. Alright, just like Resident Evil 7, I can... Oh, I'll need gunpowder and rusted scrap, okay. Cool. And key items, as well as treasure, okay. Let's look around some more. Oh, great lichens, the fabled monster wolves of old. May they come to eat our flesh. May they come to tear us apart. Okay, that's uh, creepy shit. <laughs> Can I... Oh, I can't break them. No, I can't break them either. Looking for scavenging for items here. An easy to pick lock. I don't have a lock pick though, so I can't pick that yet. Ooh. Hmm. All right, interactable environment, not bad. Uh, I feel like the knife's already a bit better than Resident Evil 7. As a, not only is it indestructible, unlike Resident Evil 2, where it, it would break, but it feels more robust. Like, you know, it feels like you can do more with the knife. You can block, and you can jab attack, and you can do slash attacks. Yeah, feels good. Um, also, your running speed is much, much faster than Resident Evil 7. Uh, hopefully, it's gonna stay the same and not slow down when the fight starts. Because I hate it when the actual fight starts and enemy starts chasing you. You become so slow. You know, like, you become, you, you get some cramps. You get leg cramps and you can't run as fast as you can. You, uh, you know normally so i really hate that fact like they artificially slow you down in order to make the chases and fights more intense but here so far it's locked from the other side but so far yeah uh, it's uh, looking good uh you got some mountain view 
in the background over there and some castle that and some B castle. Uh, and the view is absolutely gorgeous here. Creepy and gorgeous at the same time. Because, you know, eventually you'll be venturing into the castle after uh, dealing with this village area here. Um, I do am um, uh, getting some vibe of... Uh, I got some gunpowder. Resident Evil uh, 4. Uh, if you played it, you will remember that it starts with the village and then it veers off and eventually moves into the castle area and beyond. Um, so this, to me, I'm believing they were somewhat inspired by uh, Resident Evil 4. So I need some kind of... Uh, this needs some kind of other item. So it's a crank, probably, and it's gonna... You'll need it to... you need that to pull this uh, rope uh, and bring up whatever's down the well there. Probably some item. Special item. This one is locked. Okay. Rusted scrap. Nice. Which means I'll be able to craft myself some ammo. Wait, I can't? Oh, I need two of them. Okay, I have one. Hmm. Alright then. Um, yeah, I'm liking it so far. Really great environment. Graphics are awesome. Uh, so this is called Castle Dimitri... Uh, what is uh, Dimitrisk? Trisku? Dimitrisku. Okay. Or Dimitrisk. Or something. <laughs> Sorry, I'm going to say. Um, uh, can run. Hmm. Should have tested if I could shoot that crow. Just to, you know. Ooh, what's this? Examine. Uh, we offer these goats a warding to protect the village and its people. Any who breaks them shall feel Mother Miranda's wrath. I feel like I shouldn't break it, but uh, at the same time, I just want to test. Oh boy, I might have made a mistake. Might have made a mistake here. Uh, but let's just see what happens. Because, you know, I want to <laughs> explore and be more adventurous and see uh, all the things that this demo has to offer. Okay, so I'll need some key items. Something like the one seen. Guess uh, this leads to the castle. Yeah, the uh, the Resident Evil Seven or other Resident Evil games in general, where you need some key items to open this uh, gate uh, to the castle area here. So I won't be able to venture into this area here. I feel like, I felt like I shouldn't have done that. The whole breaking the goat thing. But anyway, it's probably gonna make the game harder for me. I'm not sure. Uh oh. Oh no. I'm wondering if the if it's gonna make the game harder for me <laughs> because I did that, um, like hard mode activated or some shit. I don't want that. Um, oh boy, that looks creepy. That looks ominous. Before I even venture into this house, let me first go this way and see if I. I I'm guessing it's gonna be locked. Yep, locked as usual. However, um, one interesting thing here is that even as you're starting out here, you can see lots of branching paths uh, in different directions, similar to how uh, it was with Resident Evil 4, right? So I like the whole uh, map layout and the map design, and the view distance is nice, uh, lots of environmental details, all around to make it more immersive. So, you know, good stuff so far. All right, so something's here. It's like a church, mini church with some shrines. I, I got a maiden press. Oh boy. Um, 
key item, huh? So let's see what this is. Maiden crest, a piece of relief with the carving of a beautiful maiden. Okay, I can examine that. I can. I'm guessing it's one of the items required to open the door to the castle. Uh, that's Mother Miranda, I think. Uh, uh, no, that's not Mother Miranda. That's uh, Lady Demas Creel something something. I forgot the <laughs> actual pronunciation of the name. This is some other lady here. Uh, I'm not sure who even she is. And there's some other creepy guys and girls here, ladies and oh boy, uh, it's gonna be something. Right, so this uh, uh, should disaster fall upon the village, seek out the crest. Uh, one is in the care of the church, the other is at Louisa's house. So should disaster fall upon the village, seek out the crest. So the, I get one of the crest. Uh, so the, I got the first one at the church, the second one is at Louisa's house. So I don't know where that is. Oh wait, the map is there though. Uh, uh, so that's a graveyard and somewhere beyond that. I believe that I, this lady we met in the beginning who locked us up. So the other house is beyond that door. I'm not sure. Or could be the other way around. Uh, we will probably discover that later. Oh, what's that? Uh, there's some door here, which I'm guessing is also locked. Yep, locked as usual. Um, what I can do, then there's another crank here that I can, uh, if I had the pulley, I would have been able to pull whatever down the well. Mm, okay. Let's just uh, use one of the items here, Maiden Chris. Okay, no, not this one. There we go. And also, I'll need to. There it is. Set. Done. First one is done. I need another one to open the gate to the castle, which I might find somewhere here. Oh, wait, there's a sign here. There's a stronghold, graveyard, and mill. So the graveyard's on that side. So I'm guessing Louisa's house is uh, uh, right after the graveyard. Somewhere around, probably there. Who knows? Uh, I can't access that area for the moment, so we'll see what happens. Let's venture forth. I'm guessing there's going to be some enemies here. Yes, no. Need to be careful here. Oh boy, it's not looking, not looking good. So this is a some kind of a town in front of us. Okay then. Hopefully I'm not going to die <laughs> as I explore. Uh, Flower bag. Attack flower bags to create a cloud cover. Okay, so I'm guessing uh, it's like a smoke screen or a smoke bomb, sort of. Oh, you can barricade doorway with shells. Okay, now let's not do it. I'm guessing it's for purposes of someone chasing me. Uh oh, not good. There we go. Did I just barricade myself? Okay. Oh, not looking good. Now how am I gonna get out there? Okay. Hmm, something just ran past me and... Uh, oh, I have a shotgun though. Nice. M1... Okay. M1897 shotgun, something. Let's see, let's see what... M1897 shotgun, examine it. So, okay, oh, I got some uh, cool information here. A pump action shotgun commonly used for hunting well known for stability and reliability so as you can see here uh like resident evil uh four and beyond you can in fact upgrade your uh weapon for more firepower rate of fire or you know, reload speed and ammo capacity you could do that somewhat in resident evil 7 as well but here in 8 or village it's more official right and I believe you can modify your weapon as well. Can't be sure, but probably. Okay, so uh, power is 580. Rate of fire is 1.7. Reload speed is 2.8 seconds. And ammo capacity is 8. Okay. What about you then? The Lemi is 100 power. Rate of fire is 0.45. Oof, not good. 
Uh, well, uh, it's okay. Uh, reload speed is 2.7 and uh, ammo capacity is 10. Right, so I can just inter-switch between the pistol and the shotgun. I have only one shot from the pistol. I mean, the shotgun here. Okay, I have a mine. Oh god. Yo, I... Do I really need a mine for this? Holy crap. Um, like, are the enemies gonna be that powerful where I actually need to use mines? I wonder. Have some gunpowder. Great. Faster scrap, so I can probably now uh, make me some of those handgun ammo. Nice. Uh, just made me some handgun ammo, so I now have 45 handgun ammo. That should be good enough. However, I need to get out of here. Let me just test. Just full of, full of flour. Oh boy, I don't wanna. <laughs> I don't wanna use that. Ah, uh, I see. Kind of wasted that, but whatever. I uh, just wanted to see how it works. Now then. For the actual... Oh, boy. Okay then, I'm out of here. Well, where... Where's the enemy? Uh... Hmm. Hmm. So as you can see, there's no weapon sway. So whenever you're aiming, it's gonna be stable. Oh, and you can also walk and move and aim at the same time. Okay. That's great. Problem is, I'm not seeing any enemies here. Hmm. Are they hiding from me? Holy shit. I get a feeling they're gonna jump on me. Yeah, I, I, I see them. I mean, I hear them. Right there. Somewhere. Here? Well. Why don't you just come out of there and just show yourself? Let, see it. I see it. I see it. I see it. I can block myself as well. Come on then. We don't have all day. Alright. He's not gonna come out of there. Whatever. I am ready for you. Got some shotgun ammo. Nice. Hmm. All right then. Hmm. I'm going to stick to the uh, the road here. Hold up, something here. All right. All right then, you come and get me. Right here. Being very elusive. Okay then. Man, why are these guys so elusive? I'm not sure what's up with that. Uh oh. I guess that's a trick, right? Because, like, they're gonna jump on me, but by not showing themselves uh, and you know, scare the shit out of me. I just keep hearing them, but not actually seeing them in person. Come the fuck on. Where are you guys? I'll just rely on my sound cue, I guess, and try to find out where they are. Alright. Yeah, I think they're behind me or something. Yep. Right behind me. No? Yes? There we go! Fucking finally. Uh oh. Kinda don't wanna fight them. Ah! It's locked. Locked. Okay. Oh shit. Close the 
door. Please. <laughs> there were two of them. You didn't want to fight them. <laughs> Stay back. Oh Please, shit. Don't hurt us. Oh. Uh, it's okay. I'm not going to hurt you. I'm just glad to see normal people at last. Have you seen any other survivors? No. They're all in Louise's house. And she's not answering and the gate is locked. Quiet girl. He's an outsider. Oh. oh boy. Shit, we're setting ducks in here. Can your old man walk? No. One of the monsters cut him. He's lost a lot of blood. We have to get into Louise's Shh, house. Quiet. Hmm. Must be a way inside. Stay here. Be quiet. Don't move until I get those gates open. <coughs> well. <coughs> okay then. Let's uh that was something. So I need to get the gates open. Okay, so look for Rose. Um, um find shelter in Louisa's house. Okay, so we have to go to Louisa's house and get that uh, other crest. So we have to go there anyways. Find a way to open the castle gate. Okay. Uh let's reload my weapon. Great. Again, the thing with the Resident Evil games is that to conserve your ammo as much as you can. And right there you can see some enemies. And they can see me, right? No, they cannot see me. So to so conserve your ammo as much as you can and not take every single fight, you know, um, in every scenario. As obviously... Uh, you don't have unlimited amount of ammo with me, with you, so uh, it's best to be more tactical in your approach as you're fighting them. Like, know your fight, right? So this is enemy here. Uh, they don't see me. Uh, I'm just going to explore this area a bit more before I venture forth, because um seeing if i can find any more items right any ammo or any other oops also not to attract the enemies too much but if that do happen uh, that uh, i'll just i can just enter the house here and be safe just but anyway more, moving on moving on to the other side Got more handgun ammo. Nicely done. What is this? I got more gunpowder. Great job. Alright. Something up here. Can I go up? I cannot. I have to just venture here. Open this door. And get some cam fluid out of this place. I can shit. I can take a shit. <laughs> I'm not gonna. I, I, or more importantly, I can't anyway. All right, locked from the other side. Of course it is. Um, need to get those two inside. Right. Okay, I can open the gate before I do that. Okay, I need some special item here to open the this whatever thingy inside. Hmm. Okay then. Let's do that. Let's open this gate. <coughs> Come on, it's clear. Go, go, go. Hurry. Hurry. Let's not have those enemies follow us and try to get inside. I mean, You're welcome. <laughs> yeah. All right. He's not used to relying on other people. I'm sorry. We'll be safe in here, won't we? Safer here than out there, that's for sure. Hey, do you know anything about what's going on around here? It doesn't make any sense. Mother Miranda has always protected us. Nobody's answer. Father? <laughs> we have to get inside. Hmm. 
Okay. Just hold on a bit longer, Papa. Right. In that case. There's so much blood. Uh how do I Hello? Anybody home? Maybe a familiar voice. Louisa! Open up, it's me, Elena! Whoa. Whoa! Chill. Shouting. You'll draw the monsters. Julian, calm down. Who's this? A friend! Stay back. <laughs> Father! For God's sake, Julian, let us in. No, no, they'll smell the blood. You'll endanger us all. My father will die out here. That's not my problem. What's going on? These people want to let a dying man into our home. Come now, these people are our friends. Go on, go inside. Come now, this way. Uh, You're not from this village. No. Uh, no, I'm Ethan. Julian, go make yourself useful and check the grounds. I said go! Hmm. Well, if Elena trusts you, then so do I. All right. Come inside, Ethan. Wait here. I'll check on the others. Okay. Man, the facial animation took a really big bump in quality from the last game. Just look at this. I mean, you know, even Resident Evil 2 and 3, they were really great in terms of uh, their facial expression and, you know, uh, facial quality. But here, whew. So, Louisa, uh, they broke in again, uh, got more of the livestock. I don't think we'll make it through winter at this rate. Ernest is still missing, too. Uh, we can't find him anywhere. Has Mother Miranda abandoned us? So, who is this? Mother Miranda, that's the everyone's talking about. Also, there some talk about protecting them from some danger or some shit like that. All right. Oh, Sorry. okay. Uh, what's this then? I cannot read shit, jack shit. Uh, Okay, something, 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 pictures, some castles, some, I guess, some picture of the surrounding area here. Why am I even looking at this? Uh, let's keep turning the pages. Okay, now I can't anymore. All right. Let's see uh, what we got here. Maybe she can help us find uh, what we're looking for, something. Also to help the survivors. Okay. Come inside, the others are waiting. What the fuck is this? Outsiders, you're gonna get us all killed! Right, Anton. He helped Leonardo and Elena. We were doing fine by ourselves. Please, Ethan, take a seat. Okay. Is this all that's left? From your entire village? All that's left. All that's left? There is no one left! A worthless... Invalid, a stupid, wailing bitch. Whoa! And you, you drag a bloody man and an outsider in here like it's nothing, and expect to be all safe. There is no safe. Every sorry bastard out there has been ripped in half. But tomorrow, tomorrow we're we'll all. Be just like her damn husband. <laughs> Put a sock in it, Roxana. That's enough. This Chill, guys. has protected my family for generations. And drunk or not, you are all welcome and safe in here. Whatever. Can someone please tell me what the hell is going on here? We don't know. One day we were a quiet, devout village, and the next, the monsters came and attacked us. And they, they kept coming. Wait, Louisa, and... where is your husband? Did they? No, N no, he, he is out there. Somewhere. He, mm. he, he went to get help. Yes, yes, that's, that's it. He, he went to fetch help. Let us pray. 
for him. For all of us. Good idea. Come. Gather. Okay. Okay. Great ones, hear our voice. Together as one in reverence, we call on thee within the endless dark to deliver us into fate's hands. As the midnight moon rises on black wings, so we make our sacrifice and await the light at the end. Sacrifice? In life and in death, we give you glory. Mother Miranda. What is our sacrifice is talking about? The tea should be ready. Come help me, Elena, please. Uh, what? That prayer. Tea? I've heard it before. There was an old woman near the graveyard. Give me the hag. <laughs> I'm bitch as crazy as a bag of rats. There is wisdom in her devotion, though. And I hope it protected her as it shall protect us. <laughs> Uh oh. What are you doing? Leonardo, what's wrong? Uh oh. Okay. Oh, oh shit! No. Uh oh. Elena, no, stay back! No, let me go! He's not dead? Oh. Elena. Elena, no. There's nothing you can do. Papa! This entire place yeah. is collapsing. Yeah. You couldn't save him. He was already gone. Leave me alone. No. We're getting out of here. Together. Um. I'm sorry about what happened. Uh, this, uh, you know, Elena, I guess. Ha! Huh. It's her father, but she kind of turned, so you know, uh, Elena had no choice but to shoot her father. Oh boy! It's just one of those things in, you know, Resident Evil that uh, people who are infected they turn and become monsters and shit. I don't know what happened to him. Specifically, uh, but I'm guessing those people who were like monsters in the beginning, they were also human at first and then uh, somehow turned into those uh, monsters later on. Something happened and this whole lady, Miranda, protecting someone or village. There's some something fishy going on. And obviously there's supposed to be some kind of virus involved here as well. Like, you know, uh, one of the other things with Resident Evil, T-Virus, G-Virus, and all the other viruses that are, you know, uh, spread throughout the game and the game, game world and all. Um, craft first aid med, open inventory to craft a med kit. Can I do that? I can. I get one cam fluid and one herb, and I can use that to make a first aid kit, which I have with me. Uh, how can I stack item? Wait, never mind. All right, moving on to the other rooms here. What can I see? Can I break them? Oh, I cannot. Okay, then. Hmm. 
uh, I got some coin maybe. Oh, I got some 500. What's it called? Lay. Okay, so that's probably the currency for this game. So also, yeah, there's probably gonna be a merchant. Uh, so uh, take the screwdriver out of the key ring if you need it. Okay, well, there's probably going to be a merchant somewhere down the line. So I have a, I have a truck key. Examine item in more detail and you might find some new clues. And there is the uh, examine. I got the screwdriver. Okay. Uh, to what end? I might use that. I'm not sure yet. But I got a truck key, which also means that I can drive off of this place somewhere else. Uh, there's a row of chili pop, uh, a row of red chili here, some garlic, some other ingredients, some you know, onions and stuff. Yeah, so this is a kitchen, I guess the family kitchen. Hmm. Also, there's a truck. Damn, the fire's moving fast. Oh boy. <coughs> Let's see if I can start the engine here. Step back. We can bust out with this. Hmm. <laughs> no. Well, that didn't work out. I'm fine. Let me back up again. That didn't work. There isn't any time. Oh shit. Oh, okay. Grab on. Hurry. Let's move. Don't worry. Try not to breathe in the smoke. I know. Thank you, Ethan. <coughs> You're kind. Well, your family is safe. Uh, you too. Once we get out of here, maybe you'll get to meet them. <coughs> uh oh! Careful now, careful. careful. Come on, it'll hold. <coughs> there, that's our way out. Thank God. But then, the village is still full of monsters. Well, we can't we'll, fight them. There's too many. Hey, we'll we'll figure it out. Talk like that. As we find move a safe along. house to put you in until I can find my daughter. My hunch is she's in that old castle. No, the place is full of nothing but blood and death, and I don't want to be alone while your father. Oh shit! You're fucking back. Wait, no, that's not him. Not anymore. <laughs> he said my name. Wait, it's no. not safe! No. Uh. Don't! Oh, oh no! Oh, oh! Oh, come the fuck on, you Stay idiot! Here. Yeah, oh, okay. Come on! Rip. Give me your hand! Just a fucking rip. Yeah, you're gonna die there. You're gonna Ethan, die. go! Save your daughter! Oh my Please. fucking god! Reach for me! Take Fuck! Why would you even go there? What the fuck? Why is everyone dying on me? It's like, yeah, they're being idiots, that's why. You know, it's not your fault. Like, why would you go there? It's just too much. Like a rickety, like a, you know, like a wooden structure there. It's gonna break any moment and just still jumping, you know, on your father or your dead father's lap. I just I don't get it. I don't like, I don't like she's like, you know, uh, emotionally attached to her father and all, but that's not her father anymore. Even though, you know, he called her name and all. He's long gone. Just accept it. Fucking hell. Okay. This 
place is going mad. Yeah. No shit. Why the fuck is this happening again? <laughs> you tell me, Ethan. Shit! I don't know. <laughs> it's already been to hell once. Now this shit again. <laughs> I feel his pain. Alright, so uh, not gonna be entering that house any anytime soon. I feel like the demo's coming to a close, so I need to like... Let me use some of this shotgun uh, ammo here, just so you know. Just for the sake of it. Uh, oh, alright, so where am I going now? Find a way to open the castle gate. I don't know how to do that. Because I don't have any... Oh wait, I have a screwdriver. Oh yeah, here we go. Awesome. I got the demon crest. Fine. Whoa. What the hell? Who's there? Oh, stop! Mother Miranda! Hey! Uh oh, what the <laughs> fuck is that thing? Who was it? What was that? Yeah, what, what the fuck was that? Oh boy, new types of enemies. Also, the bell. The bell has rung. Someone's there. Wait, there's a lady! Yes. Death has visited them all. <laughs> Who the fuck are you, lady? Uh, okay. I'm backing up from you slowly. <laughs> Time to uh, visit the castle, I guess. I guess this is the start of the castle. Oh boy. Nothing but blood and death. Huh? Oh shit, yeah. Okay then. Alright, so <laughs> difficulty is standard. Completion time is 37 minutes and 41 seconds. Alright, that's the first demo. Okay. Okay, the. Uh, um, oh, this is the trailer. Let's watch the trailer. As the midnight moon rises on black wings, we await the light at the end. In life and in death, glory to Mother Miranda. When you're whining, we're almost there. <laughs> Rose, where are you? Hello. If there are any survivors out there, come to my... to Louisa's house near the fields. Long, long ago. Oh no! They're coming. Who is? What the hell was that? Stop shouting. You'll draw the monsters. Tell me what is going on around here. It doesn't make any sense. Mother Miranda has always protected us. You escaped my little brother's idiot games, did you? Let's see how special you are. all that's left from your entire village all that's left there is no one left we can 
bust out with this. Lycans and gentlemen, we thank you for waiting. And now let the games begin! There is no safe! Every sorry bastard out there has been ripped in half! Tomorrow we'll all be dead. No, let me go! Chris? What the hell? Why? Ethan Winters. Ethan Winters. Mr. Winters. Ethan Winters. Ethan. Poor Ethan. Ethan Winters. Welcome. I gotta say, I'm surprised you made it this far. It'd be a shame if something happened to you now. You killed Mia. Now do me and finish the job. Okay. Um. Pretty interesting. <laughs> that was like a really nice trailer. Um, Pre-order Resident Evil here. I already did that. Uh, it's on my Steam library, so uh, I'll be able to play that when the game uh, is released on May seven. Right. So the first part of the uh, demo is over, but I already have sixty minutes and forty-one seconds left, as I was uh, taking my sweet time to explore the village uh now though um i'm not sure if i can finish the uh the uh, castle demo under 16 minutes let's give it a shot anyways and uh after that i'll give you my full uh, impression of the game uh, as a whole all right so uh again standard difficulty for now let's see Ethan's daughter might be in the castle. He entered the looming castle with a single ray of hope of finding her, but what he found instead was a most unpleasant one. All right, so castle uh, Dimitrisk. All right then, we are now inside the castle. Look for look for roads inside the castle. Uh, let's just see what we find. We got a crimson glass. Uh, it's a treasure item, I believe, which we can probably use to sell to a shopkeeper. Uh, Dimitris's blood red wine, valuable. Okay. Do you have any weapon here? I do have some weapon here. Okay. Should be interesting before I venture into the uh, next room here. Let's see if I can find any other item. Uh, no, nothing so far. Need to kind of rush this so I can show you guys as much as I can before the uh, demo timer ends. Can what is this? Okay. Right, I got something here. It's probably going to be used to lockpick. No, never mind. This is fork. Just of some. Oh, okay. Some gown of some sort. Is this locked? Yeah, I believe so. So I have to like use that chimney uh, passageway underneath me. All right. Oh boy, some rats. Okay. The game feels more responsive than like uh, the previous game. You, know, you can move around faster, look around faster. It's just overall feels better uh, than seven. Okay, we'll do some fighting here, I guess. You know. uh, Maroon Eye Ring. Okay. Uh oh. Uh oh. Some knight armor never a good thing in Resident Evil because they might just come out like you know they might uh, turn out to be alive or possessed by something and then yeah they can start attacking us okay I don't want to go there 
Not yet. I wanna check back and see what I can find. Just like that, I got gunpowder here. Nice. Can unlock the door here. Great. Now then. Moving on. What's this? Some uh, painting of a lady here. The castle looks very elegant. Very posh. Where have they taken Rose? Oh boy. And here we are at the base of the castle. Reminds me of Resident Evil 1. Uh, an eye shaped gem is loosely set in this ring. It looks like it will come out with some effort. Uh, uh, no, I cannot use this item here. Lock, most, most likely. Mask the angel's blinded gaze. And only then will you be saved. Okay, so mask the angel's blinded gaze. Okay, so uh, I'm guessing something needs to be placed there. Oh, oh what the oh, fuck is... We meet again. Duke, why are you here? Where there's coin to be made. <clears throat> and have you found your daughter? No. If she is truly here, the lady of the castle would have kept little Rose in her private chambers. Would she not? Dumitresk? The very same. Why don't you take a look? Maybe you'll get lucky. And speaking of looking, care to make a purchase? Um... Seeking something in particular? The shop. You can buy additional items. I procured some new items for you, Mr. Winters. Oh. Okay, I got 5,000 lay? Holy crap. Okay, so uh, I can level up my uh, rate of fire. I'm gonna go for the, uh, well, the Dixper's Crimson Glass. All right, I will be selling that. And buy it I will. Sure. Supplies, what is this? Extra baggage, I don't need that. High capacity mag, I don't need that. Trigger, that's another punch. Nope, no, no. Oh, you got a shotgun though. Hmm. Hmm. Securing goods is more important than anything. Anything, my friend. All right, I want to get a shotgun here. Oh, excellent choice. Right, and upgrade my. These Pistol. hands are more dexterous than one might think. Thank you for your patronage. Why is this guy so humongous? Holy shit. Okay, so uh, I don't have time to read this, but okay. Uh, North Stains Labyrinth, the craftsman of the late 19th century. Uh, North Stains was branded a heretic in his homeland. He was... He wandered the land until he settled in a remote village. Uh, um, Norstein then crafted four labyrinths, the castle, the house on, the, on a hill, the water wheel, and the iron tower. Upon their completion, he put a gun to his temple and took his own life. But why? This, each labyrinth is unique and requires its own specially crafted metal ball to operate. Each one contains crystallized human remains, which are said to be uh, Norstein's four beloved wives. The labyrinths are their grave. Creepy as always. And, nope, I can't use that here. I don't want to like look around this place too much. I don't want to even know uh, how this, how he got to be here. Uh, I'll just accept it for what it is for now. Um, oh boy, there are places I need to be. Let's uh, first go to the uh, main floor up above. Holy shit. Um, okay. Alright, so uh, I can just go here. Oh, I can probably destroy that. Yep. Destroyed that. 
Okay, going up. We'll probably be finding some enemies very soon. Three daughters, Bella, Cassandra, and Daniela. Ooh, okay. They look alike. Identical twins or triplets. Shotgun shell, nice. Alright, got some gunpowder as well. Not bad at all. Time to move on to the whatever this fuck place is. I got some money or lay, as they would call it. Nothing happens if I press the elevator here. Hmm. So I have nothing to see here, nothing to see here. This side is clear. This side is clear. I can either go up or the front door right here. Do I have anything to offer? I mean, do the game have anything to offer in this place? Nothing of interest here. Looks good so far. The castle area, the design's really great. Uh, especially when you're exploring in first person, right? It's very immersive. Um, it's locked from the other side. But yeah, um, the game is more fast paced. Faster than um, Resident Evil 7, I believe. Um, you can explore faster, you can look around faster. You have more things going on, and I'm guessing there's going to be more action as the game starts proper. This is still like the beginning of area, right? Uh, still a demo, so they're not going to give you all that much or throw like tons of enemies at you. I'm also feeling that... Oh, this is probably an item I can use later on. This, uh, this... If I can pry it out somehow... If I can pry it out, probably I will be able to... Um, oh crap. Um, there, you go. there you go. Um, but yeah. Not much action in the beginning, but you'll see. A lot of puzzles, which I like. Uh oh. Uh oh, what the hell? Uh oh. Uh -oh. Oh, what the fuck was that? Bees? I haven't cut open a man in a while. Let me string you up, slice your jerky. Nope. And just watch. Taking a live, dead, which would you prefer? Oh shit. I can't hold back any longer. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, 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 oh no. Oh no. I'm fucked. Help! <laughs> ah! Go 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 go! <laughs> oh no! I'm fucking trapped! Why am I even here? And why am I fucking? Oh no! Hey! I'm dead. Ah! No! What the fuck? Okay, I think I'm a I'm a dead man. Shotgun, shotgun to the face. Why won't you die? How how do I even get back here? Not bad. Rip. That is a rip. <laughs> Dead. How's it feel? No. <laughs> Good. The more skin you are, the thicker the blood. Is it now? Okay. <laughs> How the fuck do I even get out of there? I think this is it. Oh wait. I'm an idiot. I'm a fucking idiot. God damn. <laughs> Shit. All right, I don't wanna. I don't want to read this. I will. Uh, I got things to do. Fuck! I just wasted a ton of ammo just to fucking escape that bitch. But anyway, this is the demo. In the main game, I guess I will uh, know. <laughs> Shit! I will know where to go. Oh man, I uh, kind of. I was panicking so hard. Damn. Rip. It's alright. At least we got. Away from her. Oh no. Oh shit! It's her! 
It's her. Mama Milker. <laughs> Lady uh, Dimitri. It keeps misspelling her name. It's the uh, the big chungus lady. <laughs> okay then. Yeah, I'm liking this game so far. Really good, really awesome. Uh, this is more fun uh, than Resident Evil Seven. The environment here also very vibrant, very lively. Lots of things going on. The art design is fucking phenomenal. Just look at this. Yeah, this is like. A return to form of how uh, Resident Evil should be. Trust in light. Okay, so... Uh, oh, right, I got it. And you should light that up somehow. And now this one here. Done. Well, the problem is... This is full of darkness here. Okay, now I have a light of a... Wait, what? Hmm. Okay, then. Let's go find some other things to do here. I got covered in dried blood. It's like a torture device. Holy shit. Yeah. Hmm. Nothing to see here. I feel like something's gonna pop up from this place. I saw the trailer, so I kind of know that there's going to be some enemies here. Um, what the fuck is that thing? Oh, some items. Candidates. Irina, uh, Mikhail, Luis, and Ingrid. Okay, I don't want to read, read the whole thing. Not right now, since I'm on a timer. But... Some items here, nothing of import. Trying to tag this. More stuff. Uh, Aina, robust appetite. Mikhail, robust appetite. All of them are okay. Well, they're experimenting on the humans. But I'm guessing. Oh shit. What is this? I can craft some ammo, probably? Oh no, I'm low on health. Fuck. I don't have a cam fluid here. Okay. Metal scrap. I do require some... Cam fluid to make myself a uh, health item. Here's the fluid. Yep, there we go. Nice. Whoa. Something's coming up. Alright, chill, chill, chill with the beer. Oh no. Hide bomb? Oh! <laughs> Alright, that was something. Kinda worked out. <laughs> that was one hell of a throw! But there's more of them. Ah, oh, my 60 minute is up. Fuck! Alright. Well, I guess I got some action. Alright, we have run out of time for this demo. Check out the main game. Alright, I already watched the trailer here. I don't wanna... Okay, I cannot skip it. So let's just watch the trailer again, I guess. As the midnight moon rises on black wings, we await the light at the end. In life and in death, glory to Mother Miranda.
Then you're whining. We're almost there. <laughs> Where are you? Hello. If there are any survivors out there, come to my... to Louisa's house near the fields. Oh, no. They're coming. Who is? What the hell was that? Stop shouting. You'll draw the monsters. Tell me what is going on around here. It doesn't make any sense. Mother Miranda has always protected us. You escaped my little brother's idiot games, did you? Let's see how special you are. Is this all that's left from your entire village? All that's left? There is no one left! We can bust out with this. Lycans and gentlemen, we thank you for waiting. And now let the games begin! There is no safe! Every sorry bastard out there has been ripped in half. Tomorrow we're all be dead. No, let me go! What the hell? Why? Ethan Winters. Ethan Winters, Mr. Winters. Ethan Winters. Ethan. Poor Ethan. Ethan Winters. Welcome. Get off of me! Stay the fuck down! I gotta say, I'm surprised you made it this far. Be a shame if something happened to you now. You killed Mia. Now do me and finish the job. All right, then. That's the end of the demo here. And the pre order here. Right, time to give my final or first impression of the game based on the demo I've played so far. Uh, I will say, I am actually very impressed of the game that I've played thus far. All right, because uh, I'll say that because um, uh, Resident Evil Village in general have improved vastly, like proportionally better than uh, Resident Evil 7. So some of the things that's, uh, you know, improved are the environmental details, you know, the level designs are much more open. Um, you can venture off uh, into different sections of the map based on what items you have. So you can like branch out from, you know, your main path off to some other direction. You can like uh, double back uh and if you get the certain item you can go to other routes you get to I don't know, have an adventure sort of way um the enemies they are more varied i believe they're gonna be more types of enemies in this game than uh the previous game because in resident evil 7 the main enemy types were those black blob creatures you know like some varieties of the same creature but here i'm guessing there's gonna be more types of enemies um the movement is much better than seven uh so i can run around much faster even in the combat i can run around much faster without artificially being slowed down um so that's a good thing the uh fighting it feels great uh yeah, you can block i heard that in this game if you block you won't take any damage not sure if it's true or not. I might have to test that in the actual game because you know, the timer has run out, so I wouldn't, wasn't able to test it properly. Uh, the gunfight, uh, the gunplay feels great as usual. Um, similar to Resident Evil 7, but a bit better, I think. You know, it feels a bit better than 7. Um, the crafting system is back, as well as the inventory management. That's you know the staple of any Resident Evil game, so that's also back here, that's great. One of the great things is that they brought back the 
merchant system. Not the not necessarily the merchant from Resident Evil 4, but they have a unique merchant. Like you see that really fat guy there. So that's the probably the uh, main merchant of this game. And he does interact and talk with us and you know maybe like give us some insight into his life or maybe insight into the world or what's going on with us and you know you can have a conversation and buy stuff from him. Um, which also reminds me that when you kill enemies in this game, you will get some sort of reward. Like you'll get, they'll drop some sort of loot, be it in money, be it in other stuff. They will drop some loot, which is great because that was a feature I really loved in Resident Evil 4. That you know, whenever you killed enemies, they would drop something. Not everyone, but most people, most of the enemies would drop something. Um, so that mechanic is back. So I can now attack the enemies, engage with them, get something out of. Uh, you know, using my ammo and my effort to kill them. So that's great. Um, visuals, obviously, uh, significantly improved over Resident Evil 7. Um, more details, the assets are much better, the art direction, the art design, the environmental design, like overall very awesome uh, so far. Uh, sound design is also great. The facial animation is really great. Uh, you, you know, like you saw the in the village demo, people were like chanting their prayers or just talking with me in general. They felt very natural when speaking with us or speaking with other people, right? They felt very real. Um, so you know, Capcom does a really good job of uh, you know making characters feel real with their you know their their game engines, the, especially the Resident Evil in game engines are really like well optimized and really works well while also like giving us a great visual feast is this a true next gen game uh not necessarily no but it doesn't matter like you know we won't get a true quote unquote next gen game until because it's, it's supposed to be like you know one of the first next gen game that comes to ps5 xbox series x and pc and all uh but it doesn't matter because like the game itself is a massive step up from all the other games in the series, especially Resident Evil 7. So that's the main selling point here. And I believe they have done that very admirably, uh, very beautifully. And uh, yeah, I I'm, I'm loving it. So I already pre-ordered this game based on the trailers alone because I'm a fan of Resident Evil uh, series in general. I had high hopes for this game as well, and so far from what I've played, they have exceeded my expectation. That's just it. A clear cut, no bullshit. Um, I'm loving this game so far. I uh, love the demo. I wish they didn't give you that whole timer bullshit, that you know, the 60 minute timer. If they just let us play the demo from start to finish, I mean, they already have a cap. Like, you can only play. Uh, the level up till a certain point and they, you can't continue anymore. So they could have just lived it, like left it at that and just let us play in peace. So we can explore more, get more immersed with the whole, uh, you know, the world, the settings, fight the enemies um, multiple times. Like let's say I want to play this game again, right? So I, can, uh, I would be able to just replay the demo, that village demo and you know, try out some different things. But uh, yeah, the timer thing is quite ridiculous. But still, uh, as it stands, yes, I would highly, highly recommend this game to all, especially if you're a fan of survival horror, if you're a fan of Resident Evil game, that's obviously a must. You need to buy this game, you need to pre-order this game, because, you know, um, that's why they gave the demo to give you a taste of the game and see if you'd like it or not. So far, uh, in my opinion, absolutely. Go for it. It's going to be worth your money. Um, and the direction they've gone to so far, yeah, this game is going to have a very bright future. And we have a potential um, candidate for game of the year. Maybe, I'm not sure yet, but if, if not... Uh, one of the best survival horror games yet. We'll see. Um, but yeah, that's going to be it 
for this uh, video here about Resident Evil Village, um, where I gave my impression of the game and played a bit of the game myself to show you guys how it is. So hope you all enjoyed it. Um, I will be playing the game proper on May 7th uh, onward when the game is released, the full game is released, and I'll be uploading the gameplay in a one hour session or more, just a bit, you know, um, mixing it up, uh, just like usual. So we can, uh, when that comes, you can uh, watch the game with me as I play and uh, you know, enjoy it. All right, then. So that's going to be it for now. Until next time, I'll see you guys. Uh, take care and uh, bye for now.